All right, welcome back to the shop. In one of my last videos, you saw me make this mortising axe, and today we're gonna make a handle for it, as usual. The only difference right now is that the handle of a mortise axe sometimes has a little curve away from the blade, um, so you can reach deeper into the mortise without hitting your knuckles on the beam you're working on. So I have ash wood here on the bench. All right, so we're gonna take about 50 centimeters, which is right around here. I'm probably gonna cross cut and just split it. Alright, so for some reason it feels like a waste to me to X all of this material out. So I'm gonna use the saw, this frame saw, with a, a curved blade. So yeah, let's tighten the saw and try it out. I'm gonna turn the blade. So that it's facing this direction, so the frame doesn't interfere with the with the table. I think maybe pushing would be better. Now I'm pulling, so turn it other way around. Turn it over. The blank has been cut out roughly enough for me to mark the eye of the axe on the end grain and start making the, the part that's gonna fit into the eye of the axe. There we have the end grain, the eye marked. Now we can axe to this shape. Now we go to the draw knife. So before I can go on to the draw knife, I have a fresh one that I bought on the flea market. It's an old one and it looks like it has never been used. So it needs a sharp edge. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have saw that on my stories I asked the question what the correct bevel angle of a draw knife should be. Because since this is a factory new one or an unused one, I can see the original angle that it has and it's about 45 degrees which is quite a lot um, because if you google what the angle should be most of the people say it should be around 25 degrees so if you have any ideas on what the angle of a draw knife bevel should be let me know in the comments what you use on your draw knife for now, I'm gonna just sharpen the edge that has already been made here, so it's about 45 degrees.
All right, so I took a quick pass on the belt grinder because it was taking way too long. Now the bevel is all clean, I can take it back to the water stones to finish up the sharpening. So this is fresh of the 6000 grit. Now I'm gonna strop it on some leather with some polishing compound. All right, here we have it. Stropped with polishing compound. As you can see the edge with a slight mirror, mirror polish. So let's test it out on some wood. Let's give this 45 degree angle a try. I have my bench fire set up on a table that's not connected to the wall, which is not ideal. I might move the table by using the draw knife. We'll see depending on the sharpness or whatever. So let's try. Taking light cuts because I axed already pretty close to the line. So as you can see, I did about half right now. Now I flip it over to the other side and try it on. Left the mark. Remove the axis. We're nearly there. I'm just gonna clean up the last little edge here with the bevel side down for fine work. And then we'll try it on again. So we have a nice bit of wood sticking out. Here's a joint beneath the head and the handle. You can see due to the slight hourglass shape of the eye, we have some gaps here. So when we cut the end grain, put a wedge in there, it will swell at the end, keeping the head secured to the handle. So now I have to check this alignment as well as this alignment. And then we can remove the bulk of the wood and make the shape of the handle.
So the shaping of the handle is complete using the draw knife and the spoke shave. So now I'm going to sand it a little bit even though I like the knife edge finish. Um, there are some marks in here from the bench vise and some little splinters that I will have to remove and I will use sandpaper for that. As you can see there is some watering image on the handle which is very nice. I hope it will show up nicely after sanding and oiling the handle. After sanding I will saw the end of the handle to drive in the wedge and secure the head to the handle for good. Alright, time for assembly. Nice and snug. Now to drive in the wedge. I'm gonna leave the wedge sticking out a bit. I think adding the oil in the slot was not a good idea. It kept being squeezed out uh, and being lubricated by the oil. So I will, it's quite secure now, so I will let it dry. And then later when it's drier, I will try and drive in the wedge a little bit more but you can see that uh, the wood has expanded outward and the head is secure luckily the watering grain is on the side of my touch mark which is nice the presenting side So all that's left to do now is give it its final sharpen and give it a try.